Little readers. I, I, Captain. Pirate can be polite. They say good manners cost nothing. But it seemed to Captain Cod that no one had told his crew on the Golden Duck. That very morning, for instance, the captain had ordered Pete to hoist the mainsail. I'm busy. Pete grunted. Get Sam to do it. The captain went to see Sam, who was busy baking biscuits in the galley. I'll help, the captain said, and stirred the biscuit mixture until his arm ached. Sam didn't even say thank you. Then later on, when Davy Jones walked into the captain's cabin without knocking, it was the final straw. The captain had been in his bath. Car. The captain sighed quietly to himself. The next morning, Nell was up in the crow's nest. She sniffed and wrinkled her nose. Something smelled rotten. Peering out into the ocean, she thought. She saw a sail. On the horizon. She grabbed a telescope. And put it. To her eye. Car. She shouted down to the others. Rotten pirates. Everyone was scared of the rotten pirates. After all, how can you fight a pirate who smells so terribly? The rotten pirates were the awfulest, rottenest, smelliest pirates on the high seas. Their ship, the stinky cheese, was moldy and falling to bits. The crew didn't know what to do. Go and get the captain, Davy Jones yelled at Pete. You go and get the captain, Pete yelled back. The crew banged and shouted. Come out, captain. Nell cried. We need you to tell us what to do. Eventually Sam went, only to find the captain's cabin door was locked. They could smell the rotten pirates by now. A cloud of stinky gas rolled over the golden duck, making them cough and splutter. Still the captain's door didn't open. He's not listening to us, Nell said, her eyes streaming. She took off her bandana and held it over her nose. Poor old Polly Parrot was being quietly sick into the water barrel. How can we make him come out? Davy asked. I have an idea, Sam said, eventually. He banged. On the door one more time. Captain, will you come out and help? As, he called. Please. Suddenly the door opened. Of course I will, the captain said cheerily. But what can we do? Nell said, pointing. The rotten pirates are already beside us. Fill a bucket of fresh water each, please, the captain said, calmly. The pirate crew obeyed. Now what? Davy asked. What's the one thing that the rotten pirates hate more than anything? The captain asked. Sam thought for a moment. Bath time, he suggested. That's right, the captain said. He pointed to rotten pirates leering and waving their jagged cutlasses, it's bath time. With that, five pirates and a parrot threw six buckets of water right into the faces of the rotten pirates, who howled and scrambled to get away. The stinky cheese turned quickly and headed for the horizon. From now on, the captain said, 
as they watched the rotten sails slip towards the horizon. If it's not too much trouble, would you mind, possible, being a little bit more polite, please? Aye, aye, Captain, everyone shouted at once.